Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it is for Wednesday, 27th day of uh, May, and the fourth day of Sivan. Okay, where that means we're only two days from Shavuos, so I'm motivated again to tell you one of my favorite Direi Torah about Shavuos. Here goes. I think this was said by uh, the Gera Rebbe, I think. I heard it many, many years ago, and he here's what he said. You know the famous Medrash, we've all learned it ever since we've been little, that uh, God went to all the other nations and he asked them, uh, do you want this gift of mine? You know that song the little kitties sing? And he asked them, do you want Torah? And uh, the, the nation said, well, what's written in it? So God said, oh, is that how it's going to be? What's written in it? Uh, okay. Uh, and he knew they were stealers, so he said, you're not allowed to steal. So they said, we're out, you know. My words, not theirs. But And then uh, he came to another nation and he said, you want the Torah? And they said, what's written in it? And he said, well, he knew they, they were murderers. He said, you're not allowed to murder. They said, we're out. And so he went to nation from nation to nation to nation, and all the people in the world had something about the Torah that didn't fit them. And finally he arrived at the Jewish people, and the Jewish people said, Nasev and Ishmael, we will do and we will hear. So, the question of the Ger Rebbe is this. It is true that the Jewish people were special and above and chosen in that uh, everybody else asked what's written in it, and the Jewish people just said, we'll do it. You know, tell us later, but we're just going to do it. So that's amazing. That already proves the, the upstandingness of the Jewish people. But his question was, the Ger Rebbe, he said, okay, but I still have a question. When, when you asked that nation that were thieves, if they wanted the Torah, it would have been very, very difficult for them to accept the Torah. And they didn't. If you asked the nation that was murderers, uh, if they want the Torah, it would have been very difficult, and they didn't accept the Torah because they were murderers. But his question is, the Jewish people, we're not murderers by nature, we're not thieves by nature, and the 613 mitzvahs that are written in the Torah they kind of like fit with us. So where does the Jewish people really get to show that it's like uh, amazing that they accepted the Torah when the Torah kind of fits us kind of like a glove? Now, I know we're still amazing because we said Nasev and Ishmael. We said we will do it without even hearing what's written in it. But, but beyond that, we're accepting a way of life that we basically fit into anyway. You know, once you get used to Judaism, uh, chalant on Shabbos uh, ain't too bad, you know, and the Shabbos afternoon nap, uh, that's not too bad. And going to shul, um, you know, we kind of love it. That's where, our, that's where our whole thing is. Once you get used to the way of Jewish life, where do you ever get to show that, you know, I'm really, really in this and I'm fighting for it? So his answer was fascinating. He said, you know how those certain nations were murderers and it was hard for them to accept the Torah? And certain nations were thieves and it was hard for them to accept the Torah? Well, guess what? There's a mitzvah that's in our Torah that's so hard for a Jew to keep. And our, one of our Messias Nefeshes, the way we give over our lives to God, is by keeping this mitzvah even though it's so difficult for us to keep it. But you're never going to guess which mitzvah he said is that one. He said, it's a mitzvah that's going to surprise you. But it's a mitzvah that was given to the Jews right before they got the Torah. God said, ah, 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 how about this mitzvah? And the Jews said, we'll do that. We'll do it. And it was difficult. And it's going to surprise you. Here's what it is. Right before they got the Torah, right now, a couple days before they got the Torah, God, God said, I want you to put a border around the mountain, and I want no one to walk past their borderline. And that is tremendously hard for a Jew. We are a curious people. When you tell us there's the secret, we, we, we like almost can't hold back. When you tell us there's the duchan, the Kohen goes up there, don't look. It's hard for us not to look. All matters of holiness, all matters of spirituality, we're so curious, we're so thinking, we're so looking into things that when you show us something and you say, can't look, can't understand that. Don't go there. Don't go past this line. That's hard for a Jew, very hard for a Jew, to just stay the course and say, God told me to only go to you. 
God told me not to touch that. God told me not to look into the reason for that. God told me I'm a, I'm a Yisrael and I can't go up to the Duchan. And I go, accept it. That is one of the challenges of being a Jew, being a soldier in the army of God and saying, I'm supposed to be right here. That's where the Kohen goes. I don't go there. That's the Holy of Holies. I may not be there. My place is right here. And that is the mission of a Jew. And it's hard. And it's hard. That's hard. Chalot's not that hard. <laughs> Shabbos afternoon nap is not that hard. The part that's hard is when God says, you're a soldier in this, you're a cog in the big wheel, and you belong right there. Right there. That's your spot. And, uh, and we Jews try to adhere to that all the time. And that is where we show our, our God our servitude as we accept the Torah. Hope that made sense. Thanks for logging on and log on again on Erev Shuas and I'll try and have a new one for you then too. Bye-bye.